Hey guys, Fake Gamer here again. Today I'm gonna show you how to play import PlayStation games on your North American PlayStation 1. Uh, all you need for this is a North American PlayStation 1, a North American PlayStation disc, and whatever game, you know, you happen to wanna play. Uh, in this case, it's Beatmania Second Mix, which I don't think ever came out in America. Um, so it's pretty easy. All we do is turn off the PlayStation. So this disc is already like scratched up. I got the whole thing for a dollar, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, so you put the North American disc in, get your Japanese disc ready, and here we go. I'll just do it one time, and then I'll do it again step by step a second time. There you go. And if you time everything right, then it should start the game. Um, you really don't have to be that precise with this. It's like pretty forgiving. Um, I can probably do this about 90, 95% of the time. Um, so basically, well, so now we see the game is actually starting. So we'll power that off and we'll do it over again. Um, well, one thing I forgot to mention that you do need is a little piece of uh, I don't know, plastic, cardboard, um, little piece of paper, something that you can jam into the uh, the button down here that shows that the uh, lid tray is open or closed. Let's see if I can actually get that back in there now. So I just used a zip tie using this end to push the button down and then I pressed the other end in. Um, so the button is now stuck down and then I used a pair of scissors to cut the end off. Uh, so now, when you're actually playing the disc, you can close the lid, open it, and the disc keeps spinning. Um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, something falling into your PlayStation. Alright, so now that that's out of the way, put your disc in, get your import game ready. See, this is, in fact, a Japanese disc. Power it up. Now we're going to wait for the white screen to fade to black, and then we're going to swap in the Japanese disc. it in. Now we're going to wait for the disc to slow down. Once it's slowed down, we're going to pop the American disc back in. And then as soon as the PlayStation logo goes away, we're going to put the Japanese disc back in. Oop, that may have been a little too slow. Nope, oh, there we go. So there is a chance that you could uh, potentially scratch up your discs doing this. There we go. You can see there's some there's some scuffing on the inner ring here. Um, there's no data stored here, but you know if you do something wrong, you can maybe scratch the area out here. So it might be worth it to make a, a backup of your game before trying this. But uh, other than that, like I mean, it's pretty safe and it seems to work without any issues. And just to prove it, we will actually play a little bit of this game. And that's it. That's how you play a Japanese game on a North American PlayStation without any modifications whatsoever. Uh, pretty reliable, pretty safe, and, you know, easy enough. It's actually, you know, or best of all, it's actually free, so um, I would probably recommend doing it with something like a demo disc or, you know, maybe a scratched up game that doesn't work super great. Um, just because, you know, with all the grabbing and the putting the discs on, you might end up, you know, scratching it or, you know, putting a lot of fingerprints on it or something. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you liked the video, thumbs up. Or if you didn't like it, thumbs down. Comment, share, subscribe, retweet, post on Facebook and Instagram and MySpace and whatever you feel like doing. Um, or, you know, no, I'm not your dad. 